What is going on? How come you never told me you had dyslexia? I was too embarrassed. I'm your best friend. I know every embarrassing thing about you. And there's a lot. <laughs> I know you sometimes sleep with your baby blanket. I, I know you still can't get on some of the big kid rides at the park. See, see, this isn't something you need to be embarrassed about. How do you know? I see letters, and sometimes it just looks like alphabet soup. I wake up every day terrified that I might have to read something out loud. I never knew that. Because I didn't want you to know. I didn't want anyone to know. Why does it even matter? Because people can be mean. Especially if they find out that you have some kind of weird disorder. It's not a weird disorder. Millions of people have it. Yeah, but Rocky, sometimes it affects my dancing. Left and right, they just get jumbled up in my head and I can't do anything about it. And then I think, who am I kidding? I'm never going to be as good as any of the other dancers. <laughs> You know what that dyslexia says about you? That you're twice as tough as I thought you were. Yeah, yeah. You know what, everyone has some kind of baggage that they have to carry around their whole life. And yours is dyslexia. What's yours? My enormous feet. <laughs> Hi, you're Skylar, right? I didn't know you two were cousins. I thought you two were cousins. Spencer's my boyfriend. No, Spencer's my boyfriend. So, you two have met, huh? Yeah, turns out we're cousins. <laughs> yeah, don't forget dessert. Oh, wait, wait. How could you? By the time you're watching... You're there for your new family, aren't you? What did they do that I didn't do? You never did anything, Maya. You were just a little girl. I was who I was, and there is nothing you did or could have done. I just, I wasn't ready for you, or anyone. But I think I've changed. These people believe that I am capable of something. They don't know who I was. They believe in who I am now. Who are you? I found a job, and I've managed to keep it. I came back to tell you that I am grateful for what you wrote, and I am sorry for what I did. I'm glad you're okay. You found a job? I did. Your job was to stay. Look, thank you for telling your side. My teacher thinks if I forgive you, it'll bring me peace. And he's usually right about these things, but... I don't see how he's right about this one, and I can't. Your job was to stay. No, oh, it's like... All of a sudden, everything just feels out of control. I mean, my homework's piling up, my parents are talking to me about my future. I mean, Things that used to feel so easy just now seem so hard. Well, call me blonde, but what does all that have to do with losing weight? I guess eating is the only thing I have any control over. Like, all this other stuff just happens to me, but eating something I have a say in. That's not true. But that's how it feels. I mean, uh, that's why you have us. I mean, all this stuff that you're talking about, all this pressure, I'm going through it too. Ditto. You know, what really helps me deal is you guys. And I know no matter what, you and Gordo are always going to be there for me. It doesn't ever feel like sometimes it's just too much. <laughs> Try every day. That's what we have each other for. I mean, no matter what, we're always going to be there for you. I just don't know what to say. Well, did you eat breakfast? 
No. Well, that's good, because uh, breakfast isn't our budget. Let's go. You guys? Thanks. Last night, when we were watching Andy and Jonah, you asked me, am I happy for Andy? Yeah. And I said, yes, I'm happy for Andy. But I'm also not happy. How come? Are you jealous? Cyrus, do you like Andy? You like Jonah. Puffy, I, I feel weird. Different. You've always been weird, but you're no different. 